Hello everybody, this is Chris Bird, or Monkey Dude1313, and this is going to be yet another unboxing of two puzzles from Speed Cube Shop. In here I have a Shengshou 2x2 Mega Minx, or the Kibi Minx I think it's called, but more importantly, I have the newly released Moyu Weilong WRM. I was actually really interested in getting the previous version that had the ridges, but I thought the ridges would be weird, and then uh, they announced that they're making a without ridges version, and so I immediately pre-ordered it. So I'm actually very excited to get in here. Uh, my main speed cube right now for 3x3 is the GAN 356X, and so it has some pretty tough competition. So, interested to get into it. Alright, does it have the pull tabs? Yes it does, I don't even need the knives. Alright. So, we will go over the WRM first, because I believe more people are going to watch this video for the WRM rather than for the Mini Mega Minx. But the Mini Mega Minx is going to be really cool, so I'm looking, I'm looking forward to that as well. Alright, so WRM got a nice white box with some uh, gold uh, pictures up here. We've got the 3.47, which is actually officially part of the name, I believe, this 3.47. And even though this wasn't the cube that was used to get the world record single of 3.47, I'm wondering if they put it on there, and then the WR as well, which also means world record. I don't know, it's, it seems kind of like they were really trying to publicity stunt their way into people getting this puzzle, but either way, looks good to me. I'm excited to get into this. All right. Once again plastic wrap. Alright, the box slides open like this. Wow! Look at all this stuff you get in here. We got the cube itself here on the left, and then we got a ton of replacement pieces, and the way they're arranged. Wow, let's get those out of here. Alright, we got this little accessories box, plastic, and all of the pieces are nicely aligned in there. We have stacks of magnets here. I'll show on this, this film right here. Or this footage. Wow, that looks really good. And then we got a, a tensioner, which is just a mini screwdriver, an entire new set of center screws and caps because this is the special system where you can tension using their little tool here. And then a new core, new everything. Wow, that's very nice. So I'll actually open that up real quick. Uh, and oh, you can just slide this off. I don't even need to cut it. Can you slide it off? You can, but it's a little bit sticky. All right, well, I, I just kind of thought that this was going to be a three by three in a box. I am surprised that you get all this extra goodies, all these extra goodies. So open that up. And then in here we have our little, our little booklet here. It's got some instructions on how to assemble and then basic solving instructions. You guys know the drill. Pretty much all cubes now come with instructions on how to do it. And then we got the little tensioner screwdriver. Very neat. And then we've got all of these different center caps. And the way they're set up is that these little ridges on here will click into the center pieces of the puzzle. So that then you can use this tool to click in there and tension it without needing to use a screwdriver. Very neat idea. I, I think the way the GAN 356X did it was a little bit better, but this actually gives you more flexibility on what you do because each of these little teeth is a tension setting that you can use. Whereas on the GAN, each of the spring options only gives you three. 0.6.8 and 1. These pieces here, I do not honestly know what these are for. Maybe these are for a stand or for getting the puzzle apart, like popping pieces out. I don't know, but that's neat. We got an entire new core, should you be cubing so fast it snaps. And then we got little stacks of magnets. I'm, I'm assuming that these are going to be the same magnets that are in there. Uh, but, you know, time will tell. Very cool. This is very neat. I'm excited uh, to see what the puzzle is like that warrants such a nice assortment of accessories. So here's the puzzle itself. Itself In the box we have three more little pieces here. We got trading card, more things, and then Anton trading card. Very cool. We're not going to look into those because those are less than interesting compared to this, the new Waylong WRM. From Moyo. All right, I learned last time that you can open these up and these are actually a cube stand. And here is the cube itself. It is not greasy. It is very dry actually. It makes me wonder if they lubricated it at all. And let's just jump right into the turns. 
Let's just jump right into it. These center caps have weird little things there, probably to pull them out. All right, first turns. That is a strange feeling. So corner cutting is amazing, which is I think is to be expected on modern cubes now. The magnets are strong, like the strongest set of magnets in the 356 hex. These are similarly strong. And then each of the layers has like a really dry, grindy feel. I don't know if you can hear this. So I would guess that there's zero lubricant in here with the idea that you put your own in there, which I think is a really good idea. I think it's it's nice when companies put in their own lubricant, but usually uh, people just want to clean that out and put their own in from either Speed Cube Shop or Cubicle. So um, I think it's nice that they didn't include it already. So let's see, M turns. Very easy. Wow, that's surprising. I'm, I'm practicing my double flips for M2s. Never did it. I was always a ring ring kind of guy. All right. Wow. Okay. So let's check out some reverse corner cutting. Dang. All right. That's pretty serious. Almost half a piece. Oh, okay. Yeah. If, so if you're a little over half a piece, it won't do it. But if you're at or under, it will. And I assume it's tensioned evenly on all sides. But, you know, I spoke. Did I speak too soon? It feels like it just got looser. <laughs> All right. Well, very cool. That is that is a nice puzzle. And in terms of weight, it is super light. Of course, the 356 is a pretty heavy puzzle comparatively, but wow. Another thing of note is that the colors are more matte colors rather than these on the 356 are quite shiny. Uh, but on this puzzle, they're, they're matte. Very interesting. It's funny, when I first got back into cubing recently, I thought, I'm only going to buy the best 3x3, and then I'm never going to worry about it again. Uh, but then as I kept watching videos and seeing other people and what puzzles they preferred and all of the records that were being set on different puzzles, uh, I decided that I probably shouldn't limit myself just to the 356X and instead try a bunch of different ones. So I'm going to lubricate this, and I will do a bunch of solves on it, get used to it, and then I will do a review on this puzzle in another video. Before I get into the mini Mega Minx, or the mini Kilo Minx, or Kibi Minx, I don't know, I'm going to set up the stand. I'll make the same stupid joke about the notch on the smartphones, uh, matching those up for this stand. And there we go. Ta-da! Potentially one of the new best cubes on the market. This cube is $40 from Speed Cube Shop, so you can tell that right there with the price tag that they expect that this is going to be flagship speed cube all right moving on to the mini the, the kilo minx which is the kiwi minx or two by two mega minx i got it in black plastic because they don't offer they don't have stickerless versions and i didn't want white because if i'm going to get not a stickerless puzzle i want black plastic because that's my where, where i came from you know that's what i'm used to so the sticker shades are what I would expect, what I would compare it to is this Galaxy V2M, I think it's called. And uh, shades on the stickers are kind of exactly what you'd expect, but they're, all, they're not the bright, they're not bright colors for the most part. They're mostly more dull colors, which is fine. I mean, this isn't a WCA puzzle, so it's not like you're going to be really caring all that much about speed. But let's give it a few turns. You can actually see the center pieces through here, even though there's no color on it. I wonder if it would look cool if you cut out your own sticker for that piece. All right. It seems to lock up fairly easily. What I'm finding is that while I'm trying to hold on to the, on to the cube so that I can do RU moves, I'm actually pushing down on this layer and it's turning this, this side, uh, which I know is not what you want to do. So what I would need to get used to is putting my finger on the button in the middle so that I can keep a good hold of it you see but that this <laughs> yeah this layer starts going along with me while I'm turning so I mostly got this puzzle just to, because it's a, a collection item I don't have many of the Mega Minxes I have a, a cube for you Terraminx not is a cube for you I don't know some old brand of uh, Terraminx from a very very long time ago and uh, I wanted to get back in and get some modern versions of the different 12-sided puzzles so there we go 
I'll, I'll do, I might do a review video on this. I mean, not a ton of people are interested in this puzzle, so I'm, I have a lot of other puzzles that I need to do uh, that I need to do reviews on. But very excited to test out this uh, Waylong WRM and give my official opinion on it for whatever that's worth. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.